that that is just really good. And you know, they're got they got a mid year. They call it mid years coming up, and yeah. it's going to be Memphis, right? Yeah, Memphis, in Memphis, Tennessee. Yes. And that's in September. September, early. Uh, um, yeah, mid early to mid September this year, I think are the dates. Yeah. So this is a chance you join, plan to come and get together to fellowship. And let's talk a little bit about that. What happens in mid-year? Yeah, we talk about, as you know, like you, Don, every year we're out in Las Vegas. You know, normally we're out here in January, um, and this convention is great, but it is in Las Vegas. So there is a million other things there is. that are out there, and so many people are either having events or parties. It's very hard to get together uh, consistently. So we decided um, decades back uh, to have what we call a mid-year meeting. For us, it usually always occurs in September, and we travel throughout the United States. So we'll pick a different state each year. Last year, we were in Indiana. Uh, we decided on Memphis, Tennessee, and we pick uh, hotels uh, that are true to the Mason, true to the Mason industry. So we're staying at the Peabody, which has a famous background, gorgeous hotel. Um, and usually it's our important. yeah it is in our in our um, mid years usually go about three to four days the max and I always tell the members if they've never been there before it's about forty percent work sixty percent fun and it is. and it is. our members so look forward to it. Um, I run a promotion always during convention that not only do you join at that special rate, I'm even going to give you a ticket for that first mid-year. Because my attitude is, if I get that new member to go to the one, they're going to come to each one afterwards. That and they're not really going to have a problem paying that admission fee for, for their ticket. But I want to give them that first one because I can then get them in the room and they can actually meet fellow members. And, and that's what I believe is the biggest part of the membership. It is. Is those relationships. And no better place to do it than at our mid-year meeting. No, it is. And you can hear some equipment running in the background. What's nice when they get together, they talk about the best equipment they've ever used, the yep. best tools, the best products, the designs of the wall, or where they can get help to get those designs. All that comes together, so it's a small company, I have a small company. We have, we wear all these different hats. You know, we talk about resources, and I talk about um, the different safety director. You know, we yep. have to have human resource. I, I don't have a human resource. We're right. it. You know, right? They help bring all that to us, where we have access to so much more to do that. Like you just talked about the one thing that you gave an example with the silica, right? Yes. That came in. How do I even attempt to get a part of that? And this, for a small company makes me bigger, larger, right. and I also fellowship with people that can help me make my business better. Right. And I don't know how, what more you could pay for that to yeah. do that. So let's talk about the different tiers. Let's say to tier, we're just talking about A right now. Right. What would that be to join for a year? Level A, this would be a Mason contractor that's, we base it off on annual sales. Annual sales. Yes, okay. and, and uh, we base it off of uh, basically the, the contractors too being up front with us on where they're at at the end of the year. Uh, so we just do it by what they tell us. Uh, but a level A is someone who's doing a million or under Got per it. year. Got it. Uh, and if they're at that level, they can join and it's just as $560. And $560, the, wow. And then the key is, and what some people get a little confused, we do not do individual membership. So if Don owns a mason company, ABC Masonry, uh, whether you had three employees or whether you had 400 employees, your membership in whatever level of category you fit covers everyone. So that means if you've got five um, people that work for you and you want to come into the world of concrete, well, one of the perks of being a member is your admission tickets are free. If you're a level A and you have five employees, you want to bring them, all their tickets are free. That's but our, amazing. our level E member who's paying $3,000 a year, they might be bringing 40 individuals to the wow. show. Well, guess what? All 40 tickets are included That's too. That's amazing. So it's funny, each year at the booth, um, I always meet some contractors uh, that aren't currently members and they stop by and they've heard of us and they start talking. And one of the first things I ask them is, did you buy your tickets to the show? And they're like, well, of course I did. And I said, well, how many people did you bring out? Well, 10. And I said, well, if you look at the sign right there, we're a special right now. You could join for $5.99. You just paid over $800 just in tickets to come Isn't in. It would be free. And they can't believe it, but uh, that's our relationship with this convention. You know, it's for the industry, so that's a great perk that we it can is. give. It is. And uh, so that that is something that... Um, 
uh, definitely our mason contractors use. Um, I talked to about, we have what we call a perks program. Uh, we have a separate kind of company inside a company uh, that works with uh, someone at their mason. So if they have someone in accounting or so forth that does all their purchasing, they will actually talk with them and find out uh, maybe where they're buying their fuel or what kind of cell service they use. And just by being a member of the MCAA and the volume that we have, they can start saving money. So I have members that the savings and the perks alone pay for their membership. It, it does, and I and I could talk so much about the brotherhood and sisterhood that's formed in the masonry. They help each other, not just the corporate structure, the MCAA. We get leads, we get guidance, hey, can we help? Or they talk to another member, hey, we got another member that can help you with that. That has been unbelievable what that does. And even for other masons who don't have masons, we're short a couple guys. Yep they have worked out to help each other. Yep. That is unbelievable stuff to me. For me to see that happen, it is a good time to get everybody together. There's no doubt about it. You talk about some fun, but it's serious too. And they're committed. They're committed to this industry that we all love. Because if you're a Mason, if you're a Mason contractor, you know what it talks about, the blood and sweat. And when I say blood and sweat, you know exactly what I mean. Every time you have to lay a brick, every time you have to mix some mortar and some mud, you know, to do the wall. That's what it's all about. It gets into our body, it gets into our soul and our mindset. So be a part of it. Join MCA, we're gonna do a big push. MCAA, we're gonna do a big push, trying to drive the membership up. And I'm doing it unselfishly as Masonry Cosmetics. Todd didn't come ask me. I said, Todd, let's go do yep, this. You, you know? Did. And you know why? Because we care. And the more the merrier, man. Let's do it. So we thank you. World of Concrete. Yep. Todd, we thank you. MCA, my yes. man. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Todd. Appreciate it. Thank you.